to Lee Labrada from Houston, Texas. What makes you very special here tonight? Uh, I think that uh, my body structure and uh, my symmetry is uh, very, very good. And uh, I'm the best in the United States, and I think we're ahead of everybody, so. Well, you certainly proved that a couple weeks ago at the Nationals when you won. You took first place in the middle of the class, That's right? right? Are you going to do it again tonight, do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to pull it off. Well, here's a very self-confident young man, Lee Labrada from Houston. I know you've seen him, Chris, yes. and you really like him. He's one of the best physiques I've ever seen. Watch his pose. Chris, this guy's got great stage presence. Look how relaxed he is. Look at the smile playing to the crowd and the judges. He's charismatic. He's good looking. He's got it all. There's no weak spot in his body anywhere. Very confident. Takes his time. Well, will history repeat in the middleweight class a year ago? John Natashak was so far superior in Las Vegas, it wasn't even close. Will the United States triumph again in the middleweight class? Here's their entry. No contact development there. By bicep, everything is outstanding. Lower back. Very methodical poser. Takes his time. He's always aware. Everything he's doing. Look at that back development. Classical back lat spread. Now he changes his tempo here. Watch and see this. is not cocky. He's just very self-assured. He's done his homework. He's worked very hard for this competition. He knows he's in good shape. The audience is with him. Everything's going his way now. A very impressive Lee Labrada. Once again, a novice taking a look at this. No apparent weaknesses. All right, up from uh, Czechoslovakia, Miroslav Jestret. Well, we're back. Our competitors come on stage. It's time for the compulsors and the pose down. Second competition scheduled for four. We've had the lightweight winner, Herman Hoffman from Germany, and this is the middleweight competition. Here's a front double arm pose, the first of the compulsory poses. There's a man from India there. There are seven of these poses all together. Coming up the front lat spread. It's green. The brother keeps that confidence. The side chest pose, the third of the compulsors. There is nothing like experience in these poses. It shows. Front double arm showing your back muscularity here. Chris, they're individual poses, but you're going against the guy next to you. Isn't that correct? In a sense, you're really going against every, every competitor. That's why some judges like to have the competitor switch around. This is very hard to judge because this man on this end and the man on the opposite end, the acts are being judged also. It's hard to look at six men at the same time. So, uh, Chris, I guess it's By safe. lat spread here. Excuse me. Uh, what I was going to mention, uh, I guess it's safe to uh, assume that the pose down will compensate because then you can get next to... Exactly. You can somebody. move around, except you don't get to do them together. That was a side tricep facing front again. 
I'm going to show the abdominals and the legs, leg cuts, as we say. Look at the stage presence. Oh, oh he right. knows he's ready, doesn't he? First the legs, sit on the abdominals. Difficult round. Chris, you take a look at our six competitors. It's so easy for Labrada to show his abdominals. And I felt he was just standing there. He doesn't even have to flex them. Yeah. It's true. Some men have to flex really hard to show them. But these poses have been arrived at scientifically because there is no way you can hide if you have a weak, if you have a flaw. Competitors live on as little as 500 calories a day. Yes, true. 800, as few as 500. They're trying to get that one last lick in for the judges. This is the pose down, middleweight competition. There's Labrada. He is going to be tough to beat. All right, who's it going to be? We've gone through the compulsories, the pose down, and now it's up to the judges. We'll get the word right after this message. <laughs> judges looking over the final scores. We have judges from all over the world involved here. This is middleweight competition. They try to keep this thing as fair as possible, having judges from all over the world. Labrada appears very, very self-confident. I think I would be too if I were Labrada. All right, number six is Winston Green. No. Wasn't very happy, was it, Chris? Not really. There's Ben Weeder with the handshake. Winston Green is our sixth place finisher. Surprising. Well, be that low, but you saw the look of despair, the crowd unhappy. There will be another day for Francis Benfato. Once again, it just, it just appears that most of the time, the, the people who have stayed with bodybuilding for a longer period of time seem to make off of the awards. The more mature men, it takes a while. All right, the uh, fourth place winner from India, Premchai. I was impressed with him. Me too. Very, very good. Very thick, yet very evenly developed. <laughs> Labrata boost to the other side. Uh, <laughs> the top three here. Okay. Third. Czechoslovakia finishes third. He seems to be pretty pleased. All right, side by side. You can judge along with us at home. Who would you pick? Uh, Brooke from Egypt. He was fourth a year ago. So he's come up. They look pretty close in development. They have the same type of physiques, actually. You're never sure until you hear it. So Labrada is the winner. And Mabrook moves up from fourth to uh, second. So what's ahead for Lebrana now? For Lebrana, he's won this competition. That means he's eligible for the Mr. Olympia next year. And he'll be top in that contest. There's our winner. Lee Lebrana. Houston, Texas. Happy guy. Ben Weeder, presenting the award. God really likes him. Oh, yes. And Pabrook doesn't seem to be too unhappy. Finishes second. All right, our middleweight winner from the United States of America.
be back with more right after this message. 